Welcome back. I'm Mary Stackhouse. Congress is set to return to Washington, Washington tomorrow after a month and a half long recess, and Democrats are saying they'll reintroduce calls for comprehensive gun legislation. Mark Meredith reports. Lawmakers will return to Washington Monday with a lot on their plate. Democrats are expected to focus heavily on new gun control legislation. Congress was on its summer recess during the recent mass shootings in El Paso, Texas and Dayton, Ohio. Following those tragedies, lawmakers and President Trump appear to be open to debating new gun control laws. On Tuesday, House Democrats plan to hold a forum on gun violence prevention, and some 2020 Democratic presidential candidates say they're eager to push one major proposal forward to save lives. What I support is an immediate assault weapon ban so we can't keep purchasing them. To me, uh, that would be the most immediately smart thing to do. You can't do any of this without that. Senate Majority Leader Mitch McConnell said last month that he asked select Senate committee chairman to reflect on the subject and discuss potential solutions. However, it's unclear what legislation GOP lawmakers may end up backing. We're not going to vote on bills on the Senate floor that the president's not willing to sign. The president needs to step up here yeah. and, and set some guidelines for what he would do. House Democrats say this fall they'll also ramp up their investigations into President Trump and his administration. The House Judiciary Committee is expected to meet this week to lay out how it could move forward with an impeachment inquiry of the president. Democrats have demanded documents and testimony from several administration officials. President Trump has labeled it presidential harassment. On Friday, Democrats demanded new information from the White House over recent overseas trips where taxpayer money was spent at Trump properties. Trade is also on lawmakers' agenda as Congress considers ratifying the USMCA, a trade deal between the U.S., Canada, and Mexico. In Washington, Mark Meredith, Fox News.